Hi everybody, this is Dr. James Reed and I am a chiropractic physician. And one of the questions that a lot of people have is like, you know, why should I go ahead and see a chiropractor and what does a chiropractor actually do? Well, I wanted to go ahead and point out that we're probably one of the largest uh, types of professionals that uh, we can actually offer healthcare and, you know, resolve your pain and inflammation without medication. Now, I'm not saying medication is bad, all right? It's needed and has its place. But, however, to, you know, just rely on painkillers and also any anti-inflammatories is not really good unless you try to figure out what is really causing the underlying problems of pain and what is really causing their inflammation. Now, as a chiropractor, we realize that if your joints aren't moving correctly, it can cause a mechanical irritation to some of the surrounding structures like your nerves, your discs, your muscles, your joints. And so what we try to do is analyze that and try to figure out where those areas of irritation are taking place and we can go ahead and remove them gently. And I just want to kind of point out to some people, yes, they have this concept that, you know, we have to be very forceful in making some of these joint corrections, and that's totally untrue. And here at my office, you're going to find that there are much, much better ways of making these corrections, and we can do it very, very gently as well. Now, another question that people have is like, okay, well, Dr. Reed, what are some of the things that you actually do in your practice and so on and, and makes it unique from a chiropractic standpoint? Well, I realized that, you know, the body is actually integrated. And what do I mean by that? Well, there are different areas of the body that contribute to your posture and how your body actually moves. And oftentimes, you know, some of these different areas are totally ignored you know, most people don't realize that, as an example, your ankle and your feet contain some very important nerve endings that are found in your muscles, tendons, and ligaments that actually affects the entire posture of your body. And if you think about it, your, your feet are actually the foundation of your entire spine and how you move. So having misalignments, you know, in the ankle and the feet uh, can affect some of these different nerves and reflexes that affect the entire body posture. So when you come into our office, one of the things we will do is look at your ankle and your feet. I know I'm not a podiatrist, but I'm a chiropractor and we realize that the structure of your feet can have an important impact on your body posture. The next area that we'll take a look at is your lower back. And of course, most people <laughs> seek help you know, from a chiropractor because they're having lower back problems. But again, there's some important nerve endings that are found in your lower back and particularly in your sacroiliac joints. Another area that oftentimes can be ignored or not really paid, you know, special attention to is here in the upper neck area. Now, there's some very unique nerve endings in the upper neck that influences the base of the skull. It affects your jaw, it affects the muscles of your neck, and actually your shoulders as well. And when those areas are misaligned, it can oftentimes result in effect um, and causing headache problems, okay, very common. It can also have an effect on your inner ear, so it might, you know, affect tinnitus. It can also affect vertigo, which comes to another area that oftentimes is ignored, are your jaws okay very very important nerve endings in the jaw that helps to balance you know the neck and can have an influence on that inner ear and um, again that can be a causation of tinnitus and vertigo as well and headaches so these are some of the different areas that we take a look at another region are the bones of the skull they actually do move slightly. They can affect the fluid dynamics inside the skull and can be another factor that might influence and cause headache problems and also other structural problems, you know, throughout the body. So when you come to my office, we try to take a look at the body as a whole and try to look for the underlying reason why you might have some, you know, chronic issues because some of these areas may have, quite frankly, been ignored. So again, we try to take a look at the body from a holistic or an entire structural standpoint and realize that one area can affect the other. As 
I mentioned you know, to you before, we try to take a look at you from an integrated standpoint. And you know, how do we go about repairing or fixing some of these areas? Well, I go ahead and I use a lot of gentle techniques. I find it's not necessary to go ahead and you know, be very forceful. And obviously, if someone comes in and they have you know, osteopenia, they have some degenerative changes and so on in the spine, we want to customize the type of uh, adjustments or manipulation or treatment that we use here at our office. And generally I find that the gentle techniques seem to work much better. There isn't you know, much you know, muscular resistance. A lot of patients enjoy uh, getting adjusted you know, with a gentle type of technique. And it's not really necessary to hear you know, cracks and pops all the time, although in some cases we may have to go ahead and utilize some of those as well. What is interesting though is that when you do get adjustments, we find that there is actually a release of natural painkillers in the brain, okay, which is a very, very interesting study. So again, we just want to go ahead and let you know that you know our gentle approaches are very important for working for disc problems, you know, back problems, even your ankle and your feet, um, particularly working with the jaw and even you know doing some of our cranial work. Um, is very, very uh, gentle. So I just wanted to go ahead and emphasize that. If you're interested and want to find out more, you can go ahead and you know, contact my office at 480-732-0911. And one of my assistants would be happy to go ahead and help you out. And if you want more information too, you can go ahead and look at our website at AZ Family Health Center. That's C-E-N-T-R-E dot com. And once again, thank you very much for watching.